Well, Banco Brown's family now suing Walgreens, the security firm, and the security guard after Brown was shot and killed outside a downtown San Francisco store. It's been nearly a month since Banco Brown was shot and killed outside that San Francisco Walgreens. Now the family is seeking at least $25 million in damages. Ann Makovic joins us now with those details. Yeah, Ryan, since San Francisco's DA has decided not to file criminal charges, the family is hoping that civil court will bring them some sort of justice in this case. Their attorney, John Burris, announced the civil rights lawsuit in a press conference earlier today. Brown's relatives were there but did not speak. The lawsuit argues several claims of negligence on the part of Walgreens, Kingdom Group Protective Services, and the security guard who shot Brown. It also challenges Walgreens' policy of even hiring armed security guards and the security guards recent instruction to confront suspected shoplifters physically the value of a human life cannot be diminished because of their station in life and who they are this is a young person who was 21 24 years old whose life was taken unnecessarily so as a consequence of what walgreens did now the family also argues that this particular security guard was emotionally unsuited for the job. He didn't have to shoot. She was outside of the door, and you can see at the time he shot. So the question is, why did he? Because he did not have to. To me, that has all the elements of a homicide, clearly a murder. Brown's death sparked outrage across the city. Brown got into a physical fight with that security guard after he was accused of shoplifting. Security footage here shows the guard shooting Brown after he walked out of the store. The guard said that he shot in self-defense. State Attorney General Rob Bonta has agreed to look over this case to see if any state criminal charges should be filed against that security guard, Ryan.